This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445709-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2.dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street. Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at Jacqueline.Paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This project plans to enhance pedestrian safety by constructing improvements on 13th Street or US 192 at Florida Avenue, Indiana Avenue, and Michigan Avenue in the city of St. Cloud. The project was developed from a 2019 pedestrian safety study. The safety study focused on reducing potential conflicts between pedestrians and vehicles within this corridor. The study shows there is significant pedestrian activity involving students crossing at Indiana Avenue and other mid-block locations. Vehicles traveling within the project corridor are moving at or above the posted speed limit. Based on pedestrian activity and distance between the signalized intersections, the study recommended adding pedestrian activated signals that would enhance safety by stopping traffic at the intersections. Project milestones have included stakeholder meetings with local officials agencies, and others in August and October 2021. This meeting is being held to present the project to the public, obtain comments, and answer questions from property owners, businesses, and other interested persons. At Florida Avenue and Indiana Avenue, the project plans to add pedestrian activated signals and reconstruct the existing directional median opening. We will explain signalized directional median opening intersections within the next few slides. At Michigan Avenue, an existing signalized intersection, the signals and curb ramps will be reconstructed to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA requirements and accessible pedestrian signals will be added at all three intersections. Additionally, crosswalks will be added and or realigned and existing intersection lighting will be upgraded. This is an example of a signalized directional median opening. 
It is similar to the existing directional median openings at Florida and Indiana Avenues, except it will have pedestrian activated traffic signals and crosswalks. The traffic light will remain green for vehicles traveling on 13th Street until a pedestrian activates the signal. Once activated, the lights will change to yellow, then red, giving the pedestrian a protected window to cross. Vehicles will be able to make turns at the intersections the same way they do now. Benefits of signalized directional median openings include significantly reducing conflict points or areas where vehicles could potentially cross paths and collide, reducing the chances for right angle or T-bone crashes, which can often result in serious injury, providing protected time for pedestrians and students to cross by stopping traffic at the intersection, reducing conflicts between pedestrians and vehicles, because pedestrians will cross the main roadway diagonally, which will keep them out of the path of vehicles turning right from the side street onto 13th Street. Design on this project is anticipated to be completed in fall 2022, with a design cost of $610,000. Construction is scheduled to begin in spring 2023 with a 1.9 million estimated construction cost. All of the proposed improvements will be constructed within the existing right-of-way. To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com. Click on the search icon and enter the project number 4457091-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by January 25th, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445709-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at kevin.powell at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation. 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5425 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received in the mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by January 25, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, 
project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445709-1. Thank you again and have a good evening.